Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will show you a really cool way of teaching online. You can teach your lessons online with a graphics tablet and an Android device with no computer. Let's get started. Some graphics tablets like Huion Inspro Dial and XP Pen Deco 01 version 2 allow you to teach directly on an Android device. It can be an Android tablet or an Android smartphone. So you may ask why it is so special, right? Because most of you already have laptops or PCs. It is so special for two reasons. First of all, many people just jumped into this new teaching format, online teaching, with no proper training, with no PC, no laptop. However, they have smartphones. They can use their Android devices with a $50, $40 graphics tablet and teach online. Pretty cool. Second, this is a great alternative. I personally know a lot of people, they experienced some technical issues um, during the last online semester. Their computer made some issues and they couldn't teach online for a few days. However, this method allows you to teach online with a smartphone. So they can just switch and continue teaching. You don't need to wait a few days. You don't need to wait to fix your computer. This is a great alternative. Okay, let's start. I will show you step by step how to do that. Basically, you need two devices, an Android device with Android 6 or higher. Um, I think most of you have at least Android 6 because it's kind of old, but just check the settings, go to system and see what kind of Android your phone has. And you also need a graphics tablet which can be used with a smartphone. Not all tablets allow you to do that. So I have here with me Huion Inspro Dial and XP Pen Deco 01 version 2, but these are not the only two tablets you can use. There are much cheaper options on the market. You can use like um, Huion HS64 and XP Pen um, G640S. Um, you can use these tablets with your smartphone and they are much cheaper. I put the Amazon links for all these tablets in the description below and you can check the prices and you can buy if you need. First I am going to use Huion Inspro Dial. Now I have my smartphone and my graphics tablet. I will pick the adapter for my phone. This is a Type-C adapter. It comes with the tablet and I will plug the USB receiver to it. This graphics tablet is wireless, that's why it has a USB receiver, so don't connect the charging cable here. Okay, let's plug it to the Android device. When you do that, it automatically recognizes it and switches to the Android mode. You don't need any extra software or driver for that. It's pretty cool, right? Since we don't have any drivers to download, um, it just works, right? So we cannot use the pen buttons or the express keys here on the tablet. Let me open a note taking application here. This is Google Keep and you see it has two color pens, highlighter and eraser at the bottom. Easy to reach. Let's start writing. It works great. Um, let me use another color. You can also highlight things and erase. This is really important guys. You can only use the left half of the active area because it needs to be portrayed like phone. Look at this. I am in the middle of the tablet now and there is no space left on the screen to continue. Now I will try it with zoom. We can also teach live with an Android device. Okay, let me share my screen. There's a really cool feature here. If you click this share button, you will see the whiteboard here in the options. It is Zoom's whiteboard. You don't need to use an external application here. Just choose this one and start teaching. Similarly, you have options here at the bottom. Pen, eraser, color tool and thickness tool here. Let's try writing. It's good, there's no lagging. You can check the student's screen here. There is also an ink to shape smart recognition tool here. Let's try. This is my original drawing. And let me enable the tool and... That's it. Let's draw more things here.
and eraser. Uh, it has a cool laser effect. I like it. If you need a new page, click this three dots and open a new whiteboard. You can also save your annotations here. The only thing I didn't like is the laser tool here. Just look at the student's screen. It lags a lot. Um, it's not really useful. Let's also try annotating on a PDF file. Um, to do that, you need to share your entire screen and open an annotation app like Zodo. Um, here's my file. Let me zoom in and turn on the annotation mode. Choose the pen. That's great. Let's try. Yeah, it looks good. Very good. You can also use other colors, of course, like this one. No lagging. That's perfect. Let's go to another page and annotate more. Okay, writing feels really good. It's much better than writing on a phone screen on a glass. Plus, you have a big writing area. That's great. The only problem with this teaching style is it only allows you to teach in portrait mode. Unfortunately, when you rotate your phone screen, you cannot write anything on the right half of the screen. So it doesn't work in landscape mode. I know it's not cool, but it only works when you use your phone in regular up and down portrait position. You can also use Google Meets to teach live. It's free and it doesn't have a time limit. Um, click three dots icon at the top, choose present your screen option and start presenting. Google Meets doesn't have a whiteboard, so you need a whiteboard software like Google Keep um, to annotate. Let's try and see. Yes, it works. I will show you one more thing here. I also have here Deco01 version 2 and this is not a wireless device. So it doesn't have a USB receiver. You need to plug the charging cable to the adapter and use it like that. So this is the way you are using Gravix tablets if it's not wireless. It also has a different configurations. You don't use the left half here. You need to rotate the tablet, uh, make it portrait and use it like that. Maybe it's better, I don't know. So keep in your mind guys, different tablets might have different configurations. Let's try writing. Writing feels the same, good, clear, natural. And similarly, you cannot use this one in landscape mode, only portrait mode. Let's try annotating on a PDF file. It works, awesome. I don't want to show you the same things over and over again. This tablet also works great with Zoom and Google Meets. There's one thing I want to tell you about this tablet, guys. I had one question in my mind. Since um, this device doesn't have a battery, it's not wireless, it needs power, right? So it uses my phone's battery. Is it draining my battery? I used it a couple of times, didn't see any problem, but I believe it is possible. So um, it is better if you have a wireless tablet because they have their own batteries and you can charge it. Okay, this is how you can teach online with a smartphone and a graphics tablet. I am pretty impressed. I think it's really cool. It is much better than writing on this little screen glass right because it feels really comfortable and you have a really big writing area that is great so you see how capable these graphics tablets are you can use it with your computer with your laptop or with your smartphone you can teach online that's great what do you think comment below and let me know i will be with you in another video about online teaching keep watching mathematics goodbye